For example, iron or copper cannot be something else. But as of the combination of kinds of soils, all of a sudden a creature appears that's able to think and choose and change himself through his choice. Now, let's see what the self Iqbal refers to is. The self he keeps telling us to break and rebuild. If you can watch your thoughts, you will see that you are the creator of them. You generate thoughts and make the self out of your thoughts. Regretfully, you stick to your thoughts and self breaking them away. The process most of us accomplish and get trapped in. By watching our thoughts, we will observe that. We generate some thought every moment and if we distract ourselves from it, it will fade away spontaneously and will not be able to draw us in and carry away. Thus, we will stay the creator of our thoughts. So, a human being was the first creature being able to sense creatorship in himself and make it emerge. That is, it was the first creature who could be a creator, but mistakenly, and this mistake has occurred in the face of mankind's evolution has generated thoughts and constantly stuck to them. As a result, human being has left that this creatorship. Although we generate thoughts, but they are the same old thoughts. 99.99 of our thoughts are repetitive. We are aware of them in advance and they are not new thoughts. But Iqbal says, self-maker, like a potter who makes pots and tents from clay, a self-maker makes self by making thoughts, observes them and breaks them away. When does he break them? Right at the moment he makes them. Whatever is made fades away at the same moment and nothing is left for future. This indicates that if we had been aware of this practice since the beginning, we would have terminated whatsoever happened, leaving no grief, anger or grudge. That there's an anecdote about two monks traveling together. They arrived at a river. There they saw a woman afraid of crossing the river. One of the monks suggested to shoulder her across the river and she agreed. The monk passed her across the river put her down on the other side and both monks continued their course. After a while, his friend said, the thing you did is against our religion. I put her down a few hours ago, but you have been carrying her all the way up to here, have you? The other one answered. That's really the case. The happenings which make us unhappy now have already finished, but we're still carrying them. Iqbal says, a self-maker, just like a potter, we make self. The stipulation that a potter stays on a potter is that it is not changed into a pot what he creates. But we make thoughts and get assimilated and co-identified with them 
whereas we should get ourselves distracted from our thoughts. If we do so, we will sense something that's no more of the kind of thought. The agent that can make thoughts and watch them, but it is not of the kind is our presence, out of which thoughts are emitted. Doing so, we will be able to break our thoughts away and not take them seriously. We should not take whatever we say seriously because it has only been generated out of a situation and is not our authentic self. When we get ourselves distracted from these intellectual selves, something strange happens. We take consciousness away from thoughts and that's when we get back to our authenticity, become alive in its real sense, and sense the vibration of life in every fiber of our being in the moment. Now, let's do an exercise. Go down from your head in which your mind nests all over your body. The body is alive. Sense the life in it. Start from the tip of your toes. Now, you feel that the tip of your toes is alive. Then come to your hands, belly, and every part of your body, and irrigate all your body with your consciousness in the moment. Move continuously from your head to the tip of your toes, and vice versa. Let your mental attention flow down your entire body and feel it. We do not live in our entire body. Our wits are always centered in our head and mind. And that's why we are constantly centered there. But we should get distributed and occupy our entire body. This feeling of the entire body and sensing the life all over will cause us to sense our root. This exercise will cause us not to show overreactions to small happenings and will cause our being not to be absorbed wholly by an utterance 